Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. So for today's video, I wanted to do a nursery tour for my baby boy, Gio. He is currently 12 weeks, was born on January 28th. So he's been around for a little bit, um, but we wanted to share with you all what his nursery looks like just because it's definitely my favorite room in the entire house. And we are so proud of how it turned out. So just kind of jumping into it, the accent wall is something that I definitely wanted to be the focal point of the room. And I was looking at a lot of different wallpaper options, but honestly, wallpaper is just stupid expensive. And when I showed my husband, he was like, well, I can easily do that. So he created a stamp out of three sponges that were cut up and he essentially did the pattern one by one. And it honestly turned out exactly how I wanted. So we are incredibly proud of that. Um, we got the inspiration off of Pinterest and I think in total it cost us about $30. His name sign came off of Etsy. Um, we ordered it unfinished and then we picked a finish ourselves. Um, so we wanted like a darker brown so that I would pop against the accent wall and kept it very simple. His crib is honestly one of the first items that I picked out. So it's the infamous Ikea crib. Not only is it insanely inexpensive, it just fit the aesthetic that I was looking for. I just love how minimalistic it is. Um, and especially because our room isn't too big, a lot of cribs are pretty bulky. So I think it fits in the space extremely well. And then as for the mattress, we have the Newton. I do have a muslin sheet on top of it. And then a little lion stuffed animal that Nick's aunt actually gifted to us. Um, but don't worry, the, the stuffed animal is not in the crib when the baby sleeps there. In the corner, we have a fake plant. Um, just wanted to give some pops of green in the room. We also have this really cute swing that was gifted to us. This is from Etsy as well. And then a hamper from Pottery Barn Kids. Um, you'll see, you know, some strings from either the video monitor or the swing itself. Um, but once baby gets older, we do have plans to adjust that. So it's not anywhere near the crib um, and making sure that we have a safe sleep space for him. But I just love this corner so much. As we round to this side of the room, we have the rocker and the side table. So on the side table, we have the, how the hatch sound machine, which is honestly a lifesaver. Had this little decorative um, plant section here, a lamp from Target, and a photo from our maternity shoot. So as for this section, um, quickly, I got this area rug from Rugs USA and I think it came within two or three days. Um, so highly recommend that website. We had good experience with them. Um, but for the rocker, this is from Target and I will leave the links to everything that I can find down below. And this rocker actually came with an ottoman that matches, but I wanted to get this leather Moroccan styled ottoman just because I like the way that it kind of pulled this corner together. So we do have that ottoman um, stored away. On the wall here, we just have some decorative pieces. So I have this nude colored rainbow keychain that I used part of our announcement picture for when we announced on social media that we were pregnant um, and I love it so much and it definitely matches the room. Um, and then I just purchased this very simple outfit and hat from Amazon. Again, just kind of fitting the color scheme of everything, keeping it super neutral. And then right next to the rocker, we have his bookshelves. So these bookshelves came as a set of three on Amazon. And honestly, it fits a ton of books. I think this is probably one of the best finds that I had. And all of these books were pretty much gifted to us. I will say a pro tip is if you have a baby shower to incorporate a book raffle or something along the lines of that. We got so many different types of books. So it's really nice at night or even during the day if we want to read to him, we just have so many different options. And like I said, these are super sturdy cases that fit a ton of books. Down here, we have a little wooden play gym that my cousin actually gifted to Geo. Super cute, also from Amazon. And the mat underneath is 
a gather mat. So I believe this one is actually the smallest option. Um, I think it's technically for diaper changes, but it can basically be used for anything. So whether he's playing, doing tummy time, or again, diaper changes, it can easily be wiped down if needed. Um, so we do play with this a little bit. And turning the corner here, we have his changing station. So right here we have his diaper pail. It's the Ubi brand or Ubi brand. Um, I like it so far. I don't have any complaints as of yet. And then his dresser is from Ikea. So this dresser actually came with separate knobs but I wanted a pop of color, so I found these faux leather straps from Amazon and basically took the knobs out and incorporated that, so I think it pops a lot more. And again, kind of fits the neutral theme of the room. His changing pad is the Kikaroo. This was also gifted to us from our baby shower. And then we have his little diaper caddy section and Moving up, we have these floating shelves from Amazon as well. As you can see, a lot of these items were purchased from Amazon and the quality is actually really great. We just have some decorative objects here and his ultrasound photo and then his name sign that we used for his announcement picture once he was born, a little wooden rainbow toy in the back and then a little soccer ball that was gifted to him as well. The mirror is from the brand Umbra and to no surprise here, this was purchased on Amazon, but this is also available on the Umbra website as well. And I do know it comes in another shade as well. I believe it's a darker. I did want to quickly show the inside of the drawers and how they were organized. So it's definitely not as neat or organized um, compared to when I first essentially put this together just because, you know, I'm kind of scrambling in this every day. But basically, um, I just have his onesies, his pants, um, and his pajamas all rolled up with these dividers that I found on Amazon as well. And I also have just miscellaneous items up here related to medicine, hats, socks, mittens, bath items, just kind of random things all separated into its respective categories. Um, so very simple, just found dividers on Amazon and um, basically did it that way. As you can see here, I just have a rolling cart with other miscellaneous items for diaper changes and bibs and things of that nature. Another one of my absolute favorite parts of this room is this chandelier light. So this is from Ikea. And I think this is also um, probably one of the first or second items that we purchased for this room. And this kind of set the theme along with the crib of kind of what we wanted. Honestly, I just love it so much. I think it really pulls everything together and it was definitely a great find. Ikea has great prices, so highly recommend checking them out um, if you're in the market for light fixture or if you're kind of building your nursery as well so yeah this is basically everything the room isn't very large but I think we were able to take advantage of the space that we do have and really create it into a super cozy and super cute room I do love that it is gender neutral that's just kind of the vibe that I go for in general like I mentioned before, I will try to add links to everything that I can find in the description box below. I definitely enjoyed watching nursery tour videos when I was pregnant, so I hope you enjoy as well. And hopefully I could have inspired you if you are currently creating a nursery of your own. Thanks and see you in the next one.